Hello everyone, this is Ankur Chaudhary and in this video I will be covering important current affairs from 16th June 2018 till 30th June 2018. So these are the broad areas that I will be covering current affairs from. Let's start with awards and honours. Firstly, the Scotch Group conferred the Best Performing Social Sector Ministry Award to the Ministry of Women and Child Development for its significant achievements and initiatives in the last four years. So the Scotch group was formed in the year 1997. It is basically a think tank working in the field of socio and economic problems of the country and especially focusing on issues related to inclusive growth. Next, Rajasthan Chief Minister Vasundra Raje was conferred with the Chief Minister of the Year Award for her remarkable work in e-governance. Next, the Ministry of Shipping's flagship program for Port-led prosperity, that is Sagar Mala, received the gold award in infrastructure sector in the recently concluded 52nd Scotch Summit 2018 in New Delhi. So the Sagar Mala project is an ambitious project led by the Ministry of Shipping. The total investment involved is huge and of the tune of 120 billion dollars. So basically, it involves development of new huge mega ports in the country, modernization of existing ports. Also what it invests in is improving the road rail connectivity to the ports to the other uh, parts of the country. Next Surat Smart City was selected for City Award for showing great momentum in implementation of projects under India Smart Cities Award 2018. The Smart City mission was launched in 2014. The idea was to select 100 cities across the country and modernize them by providing smart or electronics internet based solutions to various problems in the cities. Next, the International Indian Film Academy Awards, more popularly known as the IFA Awards 2018, were held in Bangkok, that is the capital of Thailand. Following are the winners for popular category. First, best film Tumhari Solu starring Vidya Balan. Next, best director Mr. Sake Chaudhary for Hindi medium. Next, best actor in a leading role Irfan Khan for Hindi medium. Best actress in a leading role Sri Devi for the movie Mom. Next, outstanding achievement by an actor was given to Anupam Kher. Next, Bollywood actress Kalki Kochlin was conferred with the French distinction of Knight of the Order of Arts and Letters for her contribution in enhancing Indo-French ties in cinema. Next, the 2018 World Food Prize will be awarded to Dr. Lawrence Haddad and David Nabarro. They have dedicated their careers to improving the availability of nutritious food for pregnant women also uh, uh, and, and children in an effort to reduce effects of malnutrition in developing countries. Now the World Food Prize is given by a foundation known as the World Food Prize Foundation since the year 1987. Next some news from business. Firstly with the monsoon underway the Union Water Resources Ministry teamed up with Google to generate flood warnings. Next, technology giant Google announced the launch of a training program for journalists aimed at raising awareness against misinformation and providing new tools for the fourth estate against fake news. Right? So, uh, media is also sometimes known as the fourth estate. Next, some important news from politics. Firstly, on the occasion of the UN Micro, Small and Medium Sized Enterprises Day, that is June 27th, 2018, the President of India launched the Solar Charkha Mission covering artisans in 50 identified clusters. Next, uh, the Haryana government launched 7 star Gram Panchayat Rainbow Scheme. This is important to give star rankings to its panchayats on the basis of 7 social parameters, first sex ratio, education, 
hygiene, environment preservation, governance and social participation. Next, the Union Human Resources Development Minister, Mr. Prakash Javadekar, launched the new digital initiative of the ministry that is the National Digital Library of India, which is developed by IIT Khadakpur. It is a project under the AGs of National Mission of on Education through Information and Communication Technology. Now, the National Digital Library of India, it basically aims to improve the reach of digital education in the country. Digital education is nothing but online education. Next, economy and finance. Firstly, Gujarat's Dahod district dropped the first Delta ranking released by Niti Aayog that captures incremental improvements in health, education and other developmental parameters. Next, in a bid to boost environment, environmental protection around the world, India announced to increase its grant from $12 million to $15 million to the Global Environment Facilities New 4-Year Investment Cycle known as GEF-7. Now, the Global Environment Facility is nothing but a fund. It was a fund which was created in 1992 during the Rio Earth Summit. So, you can read about the Rio Earth Summit on online. Uh, Wikipedia page is sufficient. Now, uh, during this Rio Earth Summit, this fund was created in which various countries would be contributing funds in this particular uh, global fund. And this money would be used to give grants for projects that aim to improve the environment. For example, green technologies, climate change research, etc. Right? So, out of this fund, money is given to such projects in the form of grant and not in terms of loans. Next, the Asian Infrastructure Investment Fund approved a $200 million equity investment into the National Investment and Infrastructure Fund of India. So, the NIIF, that is the National Investment and Infrastructure Fund of India, was formed with an initial corpus or initial contribution of the Government of India of rupees 20,000 crores. Right? So, basically this is a fund which primarily finances infrastructure related projects. Next, Shillong, that is the capital of Meghalaya, was selected as the 100th smart city of India by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Next, Fitch Ratings uh, raised India's growth forecast for 2018-19 to 7.4% from 7.3% but cited higher financing costs and rising oil prices as risks to growth. For 1920, it estimated the country to grow at 7.5%. So, Fitch Ratings, Moody's, Standard & Poor's, etc. These are privately owned companies which are also known as rating agencies, right? These are called rating agencies. Now, these agencies provide a rating to a country on the basis of its credit risk, right? Next, we look at some people in news. Firstly, Anant Barua was appointed as a whole time member of the Securities and Exchange Board of India. The SEBI or the Securities and Exchange Board of India is the apex regulator of securities market in the country. Next, Anukriti Vas from Tamil Nadu has been crowned FBB Colors Femina Miss India World 2018. Next, Prime Minister Narendra Modi approved the proposal of setting up of a committee to lay down standards for metro rail systems in the country. The committee will be headed by none other than Mr. E. Sridharan. He is also popularly known as Metro Man of India. Next, Gautam Kanjilal, one of the pioneers in rock climbing in India and a veteran mountaineer, passed away at the age of 68 years. So again, you might be asked the question, with which field was Mr. Gautam Kanjilal associated with? The answer would be mountaineering. Next, renowned mimicry and ventriloquism artist Nerela Venu Madhav passed away at the age of 85 years. Again, this also is important. Next, Pallavi Durva, who belongs to Odisha's Korapur district, was crowned as the first tribal queen of India. Next, IRDAI, that is Insurance uh, Regulatory and Development Authority of India. It is the 
primary regulator for insurance related products in the country. It set up a 10 member committee to review norms related to insurance marketing firms with an aim to increase insurance penetration in the country. So this committee would be working out ways to ensure more and more Indians are insured. The committee will be headed by Mr. Suresh Mathur. Next, we look at some news from sports. Firstly, US golfer Brooks Koepka won the 118th edition of the US Open Golf Championship in New York. Next, the 58th National Interstate Senior Athletics Championships 2018 started in Guwahati on June the 26th. Next, Jensen Johnson representing Kerala broke the legendary Sriram Singh's four decade old, old 800 meters national record at the 58th National Interstate Senior Athletics Championship held in Guwahati. Next, Kidambi Shrikant, an Indian badminton player, was awarded the Sports Illustrated Sports Person of the Year Award for 2017. Next, Indian swimmer Sandeep Sejwal clinched the gold medal in men's 50-meter breaststroke event at the Singapore National Swimming Championship in Singapore. Besides, Virdaval Khade got a silver medal in the 50-meter freestyle event. Next, Ms. Smriti Mandhana, Indian women's cricket team opener, will become the first Indian player to appear in the Kia Super League, the women, women's cricket super league in England. So it is something like IPL which is being held in England for women's cricket. The league will become from July 22, 2018. Next, the 2018 ICC Women's World T20 Championship will be held in the West Indies from November 9th to 20. Four. Next, some miscellaneous news items. Firstly, the 26th edition of world's largest multilateral naval exercise. This is important. World's largest multilateral that is involving number of countries. Naval exercise, Rim of the Pacific started on June 27th of Hawaii in the Western Pacific Ocean. The Indian naval ship Sahadri reached the Pearl Harbor in Hawaii to participate in the exercise. Next, the International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking was observed on June the 26th with the theme Listen First, Listening to Children and Youth is the First Step to Help Them Grow Healthy and Safe. Next, researchers at University of Michigan in the US developed the world's smallest computer named Michigan Micro Mode. This is important. It measures just 0.3 of an mm and could help it find new ways to monitor and treat cancer. So because of the small size of the computer, this computer can be injected directly into the mainstream to observe a cancerous cell in a body. Next, the International Widows Day was observed on June 23rd to give special recognition to the situation of widows of all ages and across regions and cultures. Next, the International Yoga Day was celebrated on June the 21st like every year with the theme Yoga for Peace. Now, June the 21st was chosen as the International Yoga Day because it is the longest day of the year, also known as Summer Solstices. Now, this particular day is cons considered auspicious in Indian tradition and is generally considered healthy if one performs yoga or exercises during this particular day. Next, the World Music Day was observed on June the 21st. The day is also known as Fit. De la Musique after a music festival that began in France in 1982. Next, the United States withdrew from the United Nations Human Rights Council and condemned alleged hypocrisy of its members and bias against Israel. Next, the International Day for the Elimination of Sexual Violence in Conflict was observed on June 19th with the theme The Plight and Rights of Children Born of War. Next, the world's first international center for humanita humanitarian forensics was launched in Gandhinagar in Gujarat. It is a joint venture of the regional delegation of international committee of the Red Cross in India, Bhutan, Nepal and the Maldives and also Gujarat Forensic Science University. So this again is an important news because it is the first such institute in the world. Next, Canada's parliament passed a law legalizing the recreational use of marijuana nationwide. The country is the second worldwide to legalize the drug's recreational use after Uruguay. Right? So, 
marijuana is a derivative of what is known as bhang uh, in in the country so earlier marijuana has been legal for only for medicinal use in various countries but for recreational or use related only to for pleasure now canada is has become the second country after uruguay to legalize it next the world day to combat desertification and drought was observed on june the 17th to promote public awareness of international efforts to combat desertification next the international domestic workers day was celebrated across the world on june 16th to assert the rights of this vast but hidden workforce next the theme for 12th statistics day celebrated on june 29th was quality assurance in official statistics next a liquid based cytology technique that is direct to slide for screening cervical cancer was launched in india in the state of tamil nadu this is also important so a question may be framed like uh, the direct to slide technique is used to screen which of the following diseases and one of the options would be cervical cancer next the ministry of health and family welfare restricted the manufacture of oxytocin formulations for domestic use to public sector only from 1st july 2018 it also banned the import of oxytocin and its formulations in the country so oxytocin is a naturally occurring hormone which helps in uterine contraction during labor uh, for women and also for uh, produces milk in lactating mothers however the artificial version of oxytocin was widely misused by uh, animal rearers by injecting this hormone to in, into cattle to produce milk whenever they want also this in, uh, this this hormone was used to grow abnormally large vegetables and fruits so that is why certain restrictions have been put on them and only one uh, government owned enterprise would be allowed to produce it and privately it would not be produced any more next india extended a 100 million dollar line of credit that is a loan to sichels to allow it to build its defense capabilities and purchase weapons from india next the naval forces of india and bangladesh conducted the joint patrol exercise called coordinated patrol corpat in the bay of bengal for 3 days this is also important next the 22nd edition of sindhu darshan festival was held on the bank of indus river in leh district of ladakh region in the state of jammu and kashmir next on the 4th edition of international yoga day the guinness world record for largest number of people yoga, people performing yoga at one place at the same time was set up in kota in the state of rajasthan next the central government constituted a chief minister subgroup to coordinate policy approaches for agriculture and the mgnregs right mgnregs is mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee scheme now this chief minister subgroup includes chief ministers of madhya pradesh andhra pradesh bihar gujarat uttar pradesh west bengal and also sikkim so that's all as far as this presentation is concerned i thank you very much